In this screencast, we will show how you can easily extend Java Enterprise applications to mobile devices. We will show a typical Java EE application with a web page where a user can update a message of the day. Next, we will connect this Java EE application to Gluon CrowdLink. Gluon CrowdLink allows you to synchronize content and functionality between mobile apps and enterprise applications. You can operate it using Java APIs or via the Gluon CrowdLink dashboard. We will then create a simple mobile app for iOS and Android by using Java code only. That mobile app will be connected to Gluon CrowdLink as well and show the message of the day. We then update our message of the day via Java EE application and you will see that the message on the mobile app is changed immediately thanks to the Gluon Cloud synchronization. So we start with a very simple Java EE application. You can find the source code for this application in the Gluon samples on GitHub. And the enterprise part of this application is a very simple JaxRS application. So we have an application path annotation that shows where you can find this application. And we use Framework for um, creating a very basic website. Apart from the application, we have the received requests from the um, web page. We have a get and a set uh, method here. The get method is uh, called by the web page in order to return some um, uh, text. And the set method is called to set the same text. We use a Gluon service here to somehow store the um, text value. And um, initially, that Gluon service is very simple. The get on the Gluon service will return the value of a string, and the set will set that the value of the string. Later on, we will make it more complex. So if we want to um, run this application, we start a Payara instance. And if we go to the website, we see that we have a local message of the day and we can update that message into hello world, for example. And now the message is updated. But this is all local. We will now extend the application and we will go remote. In order to do this, we need to connect with gluon.io. You can apply for a trial account for free and once you have a trial account, an application is created for you and you can sign in with your credentials. The important thing that you need in order to get this working in an enterprise application is you need to go to the credentials where you have a server tab where you can see the server key. This key will be used by your enterprise application to communicate with Gluon CrowdLink. So we fill in the server key in the server key here. Next, we will create an instance of the Gluon CrowdLink client. This is a class that will make sure that, you, that your application can communicate with Gluon CrowdLink. You can then use the Gluon CrowdLink client to uh, send and retrieve data that is shared with mobile applications. But you can also use the Gluon CrowdLink client for, for example, sending push notifications to clients, managing users, managing content in general. So Gluon CrowdLink allows you to share data and to control data between enterprise applications and mobile applications. So we remove the hard-coded um, message of the day value and we will um, tell the get method, get uh, message of the day method to ask Gluon Client, Gluon CrowdLink Client to receive an object called uh, Java E message of the day v1 and we expect uh, an instance of string. If it doesn't exist yet, we will ask Gluon CrowdLink Client to create it and it will then be created in Gluon CrowdLink. Similarly, if we want to update the value, we will call Gluon CrowdLink Client dot update object and we send the new um, value. So it is important to realize that um, your information is then made persistent by Gluon CrowdLink Client, but you can of course still make it persistent in your own cloud uh, servers. And you can of course also um, integrate Gluon CrowdLink with your existing cloud uh, storage providers. So we now have a slightly modified enterprise application. We will stop, we will stop the existing um, server process, restart it. And now that the application is restarted, we can also rerun the front end. 
if in the new client we now update the message hello from the server it is still updated on the server now we will, we will create a Java mobile application and we will show that the messages are sent to that mobile application as well so we go to our favorite IDE um, and if you have the glue on mobile plugin installed you can create a new project and you select the glue on uh, category and you create the glue on mobile single view uh, project um, we give it the name um, glue on uh, Java EE application for example and we accept all the other defaults if we run this application on uh, desktop we, we can immediately see how it would look like on mobile we are not going to run it on mobile now but if you go to tasks and you go for example to launch iOS device if you have an iOS device attached it will then launch the application on that iOS device but in this screencast we will just run it on desktop but keep in mind that it will uh, that the same code runs on Android and iOS as well so this is the demo um, uh, glue on mobile application we will slightly modify it and we will make sure that it doesn't show hello Java Vex universe but that it shows the message that we created with the Java Enterprise application in order to do so we need to add a, uh, a little bit of code to this application the basic view is the one that will render our content so by default it will just show a label hello javax world and a button and it might change the text on the label if you click the button but we will now enhance it so that it does not show hello javax world but that it shows the content from the backend server first of all we will make this label a variable And second, we will add the code that is required to retrieve the data. So we created the retrieve data method. In this method, a data client is created, which is a glue and connect specific uh, instance for communicating with uh, web services. And we will ask that data client to um, retrieve the message of the day. We do that by providing a date object data reader that will ask um, glue and cloud link for an object called Java E message of the day version one. Note that this is the exact same name as the one that we had in the enterprise application. And we have the sync flag set to read true, which means that if somehow the object associated with this message of the day on the server changes, we want to be notified as well. The result of this retrieve MOTD is, a, is an observable object. It's a glue on observable object, which extends the Java VEX observable object. Hence, if the value changes, the listeners will be notified about this and we bind the value of this retrieve message of the day to the text property of the label and thanks to the javavex binding um, characteristics if the value at the server changes the value at the label will change immediately as well so when the when this view is uh, initialized we will ask it to retrieve the data and there's one more thing that we need to do we need to make sure that glue on cloudlink knows who we are we go back to the glue on cloudlink dashboard where we go to the credentials tab and we have a, um, a client credentials tab here we can download the uh, required application key and secret and this information is then stored as a json file um, and this json file as the text explains needs to be put into src main resources directory of your, uh, our application we can now run the application in our desktop simulator and we see that the label is indeed hello from the server which is what we created on the website now if we update that value and we will show the client at the same moment we say hello from the java ee server you see that the client has been updated immediately if you want to check the value on the gluon.io website you can go to um, 
data management in gloom.io, you click on objects and then you see that there's one object, Java EE, message of the day. So in this screencast we show how you can easily use your um, existing Java EE skills to create an application with a website and share the data that you created and managed with this application with mobile applications. Those mobile apps can be easily created in Java as well. And thanks to the Java VEX observable concept and the Gluon mobile framework, it is very easy to immediately render this data and update the data when it's changed on the backend. If you want to learn more about Gluon CloudLink and Gluon products in general, visit our website at gluonhq.com.